What's happening YouTube? My name is Alex and welcome to another TV box review. Today I'm taking a look at another TV box with a new Amlogic S905X processor. This one is called the Nextbox A5. So I'm really curious to see how this one does. Of course I left some links in the video description if you wanna check this out. Next I'm gonna show you the box that this uh, little TV box comes in and then I'm gonna show you how it performs. Let's begin. The next box A5 comes in this black box right here on the front we just see the Android 6 and on the back we do see some specifications about the box itself. Inside the box we find the user manual, it is in English and it does have a few pictures inside. We also find the HDMI cable, the remote control that uh, looks a bit different than the remote control on most of these TV boxes. This uh, remote control takes two AAA batteries, however I do recommend using a wireless keyboard and mouse for a better experience. And lastly the power adapter, this adapter looks like any adapter that you'd find on uh, these TV boxes. Now the TV box itself, it is made out of plastic and on the front here we see the brand and the model number. On the right hand side you'll find a slot for a TF card and two USB ports. On the back we see the AV output, the internet port, the HDMI, optical audio and where the power adapter goes. The back is also made out of plastic and we do have some holes here so the box doesn't overheat. Right here on the back we also see the model number which is the A5, the 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. For the duration of this video I'll be using this wireless keyboard and mouse and I left a link in the top right corner of the video if you wanna check it out. For gaming I will be using this Bluetooth controller, it's a Xiaomi Bluetooth controller and again I left a link in the top right corner if you wanna check this controller out. As soon as we turn on the box we get the next box logo and the model number of the box which is the A5 and this is their boot up animation. And it doesn't take long and we get to this launcher here and finally we see a different launcher from all the other TV boxes and I have to say this one looks uh, kind of professional and different than uh, any other launcher. Don't get me wrong you can always install Nova Launcher or anything like that but uh, this one just looks uh, nicer than most of these TV boxes. So I'm just scrolling through the launcher here so you can have an idea how it looks. So at the bottom there we just have a couple of uh, options. This is like the main page, this is like a favorite section. And again you can just change and add any apps onto these uh, screens as you please. Let's start by going to the settings app. So you can click settings uh, on top there and then we get to this part of the settings. And if we click on settings here we get to the regular settings app, uh, at network just the internet and the Wi-Fi, nothing uh, special. At display here uh, we can select the screen resolution and currently I'm at uh, 1080p. We do have the screen positioning and the HDR mode which it's set on auto at the moment. Next for sounds uh, we're gonna find the regular sounds or digital sounds depending on uh, what you have connected to your TV so you can uh, select whichever you have. Here at apps we can see whatever apps are uh, installed. So we have downloaded apps, I already downloaded a whole bunch of apps, system apps and um, so on. And uh, since we are here anyways, uh, if we look at Kodi here, we're gonna see that this is Kodi version 16.1. But storage and reset we're just gonna see whatever space available but um, to actually see the space available we'll have to go to more settings here. So if we go to more settings, storage and USB, we're gonna see that uh, out of the 16 gigs uh, available we have about 327 used. So we have about 12.7 gigs uh, free of uh, storage. So a lot of uh, space available and keep in mind that you can install a SD card and that will become internal memory and if that becomes internal memory all of a sudden you don't have storage limitations anymore because you can put a 32 gig uh, SD card and you can install as many apps as you wish. This box does have Bluetooth and since I'm here anyways uh, I'm gonna show you what languages are available. So there are lots and lots of languages available onto this box. So I'm just gonna scroll through them very very quickly, hopefully you see the one that you're interested in. And if I go at about media box, you're gonna see the next box A5 which is the model number and Android version Android 6.01. So uh, the latest uh, version of Android. 
And the new option that we have here, it's the power key definition. What this does, it will let you select what you want the box to do when you turn it off. You either want it to go to a deep sleep or shut down. So it is up to you depending how you use it. Back to the settings app here, if we click on system info, we can see that this is the box with 2 gigs and 16 gigs of internal uh, storage. So 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. Now if we click back onto home here, we're gonna get back to this uh, home screen. And if we click on all apps, we're gonna see all the apps that are installed onto the box. So we do have a lot, a lot of apps um, installed. The most important one is the Play Store here, the Kodi Center. And I'm gonna show you what Kodi Center is. So what this does, it will allow you to install add-ons onto Kodi without doing anything. So if you're interested in sports, for example, just click on sports. Give it a second to load and then you can install any of these so for example if i want to install this one here i just clicked on it and it will install onto kodi and whenever you open kodi you're gonna have all these apps uh, pre-installed now if you want to install all the apps uh, you're just gonna click onto all apps and then it's gonna download everything i don't recommend that uh, just do the ones that you need so this is what kodi center is so Whenever there is an update for uh, an add-on, uh, you can just uh, update it from here. So you don't really have to do anything else. So very, very easy to do. Aside from that, we see the YouTube app right there. Uh, what else do we have? Twitter and a whole bunch of other apps, uh, including Netflix, Skype and uh, Plex. So you can install any apps that you want realistically from the Play Store uh, or uh, whatever you find online. If you are wondering how fast the internal memory onto this box is, uh, these are the results right here. On the Antutu benchmark, we get a score of 34278. And if we go to info here, we can see some more information about the box, like the screen resolution, the Android version, the total RAM available and so on. On the Geekbench 3, we get a multi-core score of 1893 and a single core score of 663. And down here, we can see some more information about the box itself. On the iStorm Extreme, we get a score of 4264. And down here, we can see some more details about the score. The CPU that app will just confirm everything that we already know about the box. And here you can see for yourself. And here we see the temperature uh, for the processor for this particular time. So it's at about 67, 70 degrees after uh, doing all those uh, benchmark tests. On the speed test app on a wired connection through my power line adapters, I get this speed right here. So about 78 and 11 for upload. The next one is on the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So 12 download, 10 upload, and the following two are on the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network. So six uh, for download and 11 for upload. Now the Wi-Fi, it's not the best. I mean, I wish to be like around 30, 40 or so, but uh, these TV boxes are kind of the same, most of them. So I am quite far from uh, the wireless router. So that's why these speeds are quite low if i would move right next to the router they would probably improve uh, a lot until now this is one of the fastest boxes that i've uh, tried so opening kodi for example check this out and it's uh, already on so very very fast so everything is done extremely extremely fast one of the fastest boxes that i've seen so let's go into system here system info and this is Kodi 16.1 if you're wondering. So that's the screen resolution there. And I'm just going to scroll through these uh, just in case you are uh, wondering about any of them. And next let's go to videos here and add-ons. And we'll check out and see what add-ons come pre-installed. So there are a few pre-installed. But uh, since we have that Kodi center you can install any add-ons that you wish. We'll start an add-on just so you can see how uh, well it does. I know this one works 95% of the time, so we'll uh, try this one. And let's just choose this one right here. And yes, it started right away and it does seem to go um, very well. However, I wasn't expecting this not to go smooth by any means. And this has a lot to do with your internet speed as well. So this is how Kodi works onto this box. So 
quite uh, quite fast, I have to say, and uh, I'm quite impressed with Cody onto this box. And since we're doing this, let's see how long it takes uh, the box to shut down Cody. So we'll press exit and uh, we'll wait and see how long it takes it uh, to actually shut it off. So not that long. Now I have a USB stick plugged in, we have a whole bunch of uh, video formats here, we'll start with the first one, this is the one that didn't work on uh, any of the Amlogic S905X, so let's see if uh, it is any different onto this box. So unfortunately it doesn't do good at all, so it's trying but uh, yeah, not, not great. So extremely extremely slow i'm not sure what's uh, with this file because this file works absolutely perfect on the um, logic s905 uh, boxes okay so the next one uh, should do much better than that on that one it's at 59 frames per second this is at uh, 50 frames per second so let's see this one and surprise surprise uh, this one doesn't do great either so this one doesn't do good either um, this one is also a 4k file filmed with my phone this one uh, should work much better I guess this is at like 20 frames per second or something like that so yeah this one does uh, does good unfortunately the other two didn't do good at all Right, so this one works. Let's see what else we have here. So we can try this one here, for example, see how well it does. And this one doesn't seem to have any problems whatsoever. So yeah, this one works uh, very, very well. Let's try another one. Uh, we can try this one here. This one doesn't do good on any box. We'll skip forward. So uh, this one actually does uh, does okay, still not totally smooth, but uh, it does uh, does pretty good. Um, I imagine that this 720p file will do absolutely excellent. There is no doubt uh, in that. And yeah, as I was expecting, this one uh, is doing absolutely fine. And lastly, we have a 1080p file here. Again, we'll uh, just play a couple of seconds out of it. And this one will do just fine as well. So yeah, unfortunately the two, the first two 4K files didn't do good at all. And now I have a 500 gig connected to the box. I just want to see if uh, it reads what's on the hard drive. So we'll just um, open a random, uh, random file here. Well, it's the same file that I always... Uh, open so we'll just skip through it and it seems to to do quite fine so i just wanted to check and make sure that um, hard drives get enough power uh, from the box i have the youtube app open i want to check out and see the maximum resolution onto the youtube app and if we click on quality here the maximum resolution is the maximum resolution of my tv which is 1080p so we'll press play, we'll uh, maximize this. And let's see how well it does. And yes, it does go uh, very, very smooth. So YouTube at 1080p goes uh, extremely well. I'm currently using Miracast onto the TV box. I'm connected to my Samsung phones. And as you can probably tell, uh, it does go okay. I'm gonna open the gallery here, go through a couple of uh, pictures. So uh, pictures will do fine. However, uh, if you're gonna try playing a video, it's not gonna do that great just because um, the Wi-Fi is kind of slow onto this box. I'm currently playing uh, Real Racing 3.
as you can probably tell it does uh, does very very well and most games uh, will do just fine on uh, onto this uh, particular box Now, in order to conclude this video, how do I like this box? Uh, this is one of the best boxes I've tried uh, lately, to be honest. I don't like the fact that we don't have the black bar with the home button and the multitasking uh, screen on the button there, but I guess I can do without it. If uh, you don't really like this launcher, even though it's not that bad, it's uh, mostly made so you can actually use it with the remote control that comes with the the TV box so it's not too bad if you add all your apps here uh, it could be useful um, I was disappointed about the two 4k files that didn't go uh, that good however the box does do really really good for uh, everything else and realistically you don't watch that many 4k files and hopefully that uh, can be fixed with a software update in the future so up to now uh, the A5 is probably the best uh, TV box uh, that I've tried to download Logic S905X. If you have any questions uh, just uh, leave a comment down below. If you like the video please uh, press the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.